jump with the first question there. So, how would you describe to aunties and uncles the difference between Web3 and Web2? So, I, I would say, um, I'm not going to go into too big a difference. I, I think I want to just tell people how I see it, I guess. Uh, Web2, 2.0, I think there's a big difference where uh, I, I see a big change and I guess a, a revolution. The next five, 10 years, like we're going to see huge changes in things like uh, gaming, how we transact. Uh, and I think um, privacy is a, is a big thing. I think a lot of the data and the way revenue models were used for previous um, social media sites, for example, Facebook, it's all like very ad revenue driven, whereas here is more um, user generated and see how we can split the, um, the revenue. So I think that space is something that we particularly like because it's not just then one or two or three big players involved, probably be shared more with uh, users and the, the content will be generated. And I think with the new AI um, and new generative AI and arts will be something that will be very complementary to the, to the space. Uh, you know, what, what is your view about like attracting talent back to say Hong Kong uh, so we can uh, support a healthier uh, economic environment? So thanks for that Kevin. I think uh, first of all, I think it's been a tough um, three years for most of us in the room here um, where it's not just, you know, we, we all know what Hong Kong is capable of. I, I, I've been saying this uh, publicly recently that, you know, Hong Kong 1.0 is pre-97 between 97 and COVID is Hong Kong 2.0 during after the handover. And now we see a new beginning, Hong Kong 3.0. And we've seen a big movement from the Hong Kong government, Hello Hong Kong, to attract tourists. Um, we've had a significant um, battering compared to Singapore and Dubai, where people are, at least on the media front, people want to seem to want to go to Singapore and Dubai more than Hong Kong. So I think, you know, masks off, the borders opening, I think we're going to see, a, for me personally, I believe I'm very bullish on Hong Kong. I think this year, next year, we're going to see a lot more investment from family offices, different kinds of investors. But we need to re-engage back with the world and, and welcome people here. And I think, um, obviously, with the, the financial secretary is also introducing new measures for digital assets, which is not Web3 exactly, but it's in a similar kind of space. And I think Singapore is going the other way, which is a, a good news for us in Hong Kong. So I think Web3 is another one. You know, people like, um, yeah, yourself and Anna Mocha is a, is a great uh, example that Hong Kong actually we can do things better than other people in the world, obviously, you know, Tencent and, and so forth. So I, I'm a big believer of Hong Kong. I think um, it's the right direction that we're going in. And I think uh, the future is bright for Hong Kong.